Hey guys, it's Tim, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Last night at the ROH Final Battle pay-per-view, Matt Hardy appeared via video message and said that him and Brother Nero were coming to Ring of Honor to delete the Bucks of Youth. He said along with deleting the Young Bucks, they will be ending their reign as Tag Team Champions. Now, we have found out that this match is actually not supposed to happen till WrestleMania weekend and their big WrestleMania weekend show that's taking place in, I want to say, Lakeland, Florida. So with that being said, it looks as if the Young Bucks will be sticking around with Ring of Honor after the new year. According to Dave Meltzer on last night's Wrestling Observer Radio, he said that last year this time, the Young Bucks were given what was regarded a big contract. A big contract for Ring of Honor and New Japan. He said this year, they are being offered a two-year deal that is even bigger than the contracts they were offered last year. He said both Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling know the worth of the Young Bucks and they want to do what they can to keep them with their companies. Also, with this match scheduled to take place at WrestleMania weekend, it kind of kills the rumors of our Matt and Jeff Hardy coming back to the WWE once their TNA contracts expire in February. Now, ever since I posted the video of Matt Hardy from Ring of Honor last night, I'm getting a lot of questions on, does this mean Ring of Honor and TNA are now working together? Well, what I was told is that an hour before the show, TNA still hadn't signed a release to allow Matt Hardy's video and for Brandy Rhodes to be on the show at all. So it came down to the wire within the last hour of the show going on pay-per-view, going on air, that TNA finally faxed over or somehow got over a signed consent for the Matt Hardy video and pretty much challenge to be laid down. I don't know if this is going to be a working partnership going forward, but the new people in charge of TNA obviously see that there is, I guess, worth in working with Ring of Honor, and maybe this can be a new partnership between TNA and Ring of Honor. But like I said, right now, the Young Bucks are expected to stick around with Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling and sign a new two-year deal. But that's going to do it for this edition of Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe here on YouTube.